And now, My Beloved Spy, a comedy adventure by Jordan Lawson. It was a typical day in London. The fog and rain were constant. Nick Stallone was a lawyer on loan from the Italian police, working as a spy for a London law office. When he arrived at the office, his phone was ringing. <laughs> he recognized the caller. It was his secret contact at Interpol. Uh, hello, uh, that's uh, you, uh, Inspector Ramsey. Hello, boy, how is the mistress and that wretched son of yours? As well as can be expected. Nick, oh, I have an assortment for you. It's strictly undercover. The French mobster, Frenchie Lafleur, is trying to get set up shop here in London. I need you to infiltrate her gang and report back to me. Do not try to use a French accent. She will spot you instantly. Uh, what is her relocation? I'm told she enjoys the atmosphere of the London club. She and her gun mall, Maxine Wilson, are trying to integrate themselves with a London mob. You must do the same before they wreak havoc of all the city. A little of my best, Inspector. Nick wheels his Mercedes round and heads for home. The honey on a home. Don't give me that. I'm a home of two women with that wretched son of a yours. He brought home a girl, and they had been up in his room for two hours with the door locked. What's wrong with that? Our, our son is almost 30 years old. <laughs> well, I don't like it. He should be out looking for a job. I'll talk to him when I return. Uh, the boss wants me to go out of town on a case. I have to pack. I'll be back in a few days. After packing a bag, instead of leaving town, Nick drives to the London club. He sees Frenchie sitting at a table with her gun mall, Maxine, talking to a local mobster. Hey, what do you want, the fat man? Uh, my friends are call me Nico, so you can call me Mr. Nick. I want to I want to buy, buy you your next drinks. Nice uh, scrum. I'm on me, Frenchie. Let's see what he has to say after he buys us our next drinks. Uh, all right, sit down, but no funny stuff. Or this pea shooter in my purse will spill out some lead. You get me? Don't be rude, my, my Frenchie. The man is about to buy us some drinks. I have a gin fizz, Mr. Nicky. Hmm. All right. I will have the most expensive champagne in the world. Hmm. Now, what do you want? You drive behind a bargain. What I want is for my men to join forces with your gangs and make some big dough. I have ideas on how we can accomplish this. All right. Let's hear it. We all the join the forces and hit the London club together. I know where they count their receipts. Uh, this can be a big haul. Mm, I don't know about this, Mr. Nick. How do I know I can trust you? Well, uh, I have a man working on the inside the club. He told me an average of day's receipts total of 50,000 pounds. It is ours for the taking. I'll run to my gang and I'll meet you here tomorrow at four o'clock sharp. Bring all your men and we'll pull this off together. What do you say, Frenchie? Do we risk it? Mm, I say, we. Oui. We will take this bet. Nick drives to police headquarters and informs Inspector Ramsey of the plan. I don't believe it, Nico. We've been trying to catch these tricks for over a year. Now you have more meeting with you at the London Club. How did you do it? Never mind that. Uh, I'll tell you later. Just surround up with your officers. Have them wear uh, plain clothes and 
Meet me across the London Club tomorrow at four o'clock sharp. Roger that, Albane. The next day, Nick and the undercover policemen meet across the street from the London Club. Listen carefully, men. We have a good chance to capture two gangs and one to sweep. Go in and mingle. On my signal, confront Frenchy and the other gang leader. They will try to flee, so mock all the exits with your weapons drawn. Any questions? No? Then let's go. <laughs> well, Frenchy, are, are these all the men? Absolutely. Good. Now, let's get down to business. Where is your man? I have men all over this club uh, instructed to shoot to kill. Sacre bleu! You're like that? Frenchy, we've been double crossed. <sighs> Put up your hands uh, and nobody gets uh, hurt. Oh, mon dieu! Vite, allez, allez! That's it, that's it, the man. Uh, we got all of them. Mm, this is not over, fat man. We will get even. I knew it sounded too good to be true. <laughs> men escorted them all to the police vans, and I'll meet you back at headquarters. But first, I got to get home to my wife. <laughs> Ricky. Aniko, where have you been? Willie has really done it this time. Just look at this mess. I couldn't help it, Dad. I told my girl I couldn't see her anymore and she went berserk. She smashed everything she could get her hands on. I'll pay for the damage, I swear. You bet you will. Tomorrow you go out and get the job. You got it. <laughs>